Hi all, this is a quick time lapse to show you how I created and sculpted this old man. So I started off with a subdivided cube. I wouldn't recommend starting off with a UV sphere as the topology is a bit awkward. I'm using Dyne Topo and I start with a detail level of 10. That's just to get the basic shape. So I use the grab tool to start off with and get my basic shape. I don't zoom in too much. I try and keep a bit of a distance so that I can get the basic shape. I'm using a matte cap so I can see the shadows. It gives this sort of ambient occlusion effect. I'm using a GTX 980, that's my graphics card. So slowly building out the shapes, I start using the crease tool to dig into the shape. Make sure you save your work regularly. And again, not adding too much detail, I've come down to detail of 8.5 and then I'm now 7.3 and slowly move in and start adding detail. If you start adding detail too early and you need to change it, it can be very awkward. Now I'm adding the eyeballs and placing them in the right position so that I can sculpt around them and sculpt the eyelids. I'm using the crease tool, but holding down control so it ends up being like a pinch, so it does the reverse. Whenever you hold down control on a brush, it will do the opposite. So making sure my eyelids are all in the right place, trying to give it some character. Still on a detail of 7.3, so that's subdivide, collapse and relative detail. My main brushes are the draw brush, the main draw brush, the crease brush and the grab brush. And of course the smooth brush, so hold down shift and draw and that will smooth things out. Again, pinching and creasing. Now I wasn't happy with the mouth at this point and I think I tried to add detail too early like I said not to do and so I had to pull it around, change it and it caused a lot of problems. I actually ended up pretty much rebuilding the whole thing. Again you can see the pinching and the creasing tool in work there on the eyelids. You can get away with a lack of detail on the ears because that's not really where people look. The eyes, the nose and the mouth are the most important. I'm using reference images on my second screen which you can't see, but I think that's absolutely vital. There's a slight glitch here and it starts opening up faces when I sculpt. I'm not sure why that is and I never got to the bottom of it, but generally I would retopologize anyway. So at this stage I'm down to a detail level of 5.7. So getting in there and starting to get the fine details. Generally I would say it's better to do a dyne topo first, then retopologize, and then start using a multi-resolution modifier. So I'm probably adding a bit too much detail at this point because I probably will go in and retopologize. That's especially good when you start texturing because you'll be able to map the UVs and split them up much easier.
I'm probably going a tiny bit overboard with the creases, but the matte cap sometimes gives a false impression of the depth of your creases because of that fake ambient occlusion. So going overboard is not such a bad thing. When coming to this level of detail, which is at 2.6, I actually turn off symmetry because I want to add some character. And one of the main ways to do that is make sure that one side is different from the other. It's very rare that anybody has a very symmetrical face, especially for an old person. Now here I've gone to too high a detail on the chest and it was hard to restructure it. So I should have done that earlier. Again, very important. Make sure you leave the detailing to last and get your main shapes in first. When I put it down to a detail of about two, it started to struggle as I was doing a screen record at the same time. Now this step I wouldn't recommend actually for doing as a dine topo. It's where you're adding texture with the anchor stroke brush, a texture on your brush. But again, I would save that for a multi-resolution modifier, which seems to cope much better with this sort of thing. Really lagging a lot it was and it was very difficult to get the right depth. So I did a tiny bit more and then gave up on that and just thought I'd finish off with some lighting. After adding a tiny bit of depth to the lips, So a basic three point lighting setup. I like to just use sun lamps. I should have changed the GPU rendering, but didn't realize it was in CPU at this point, so it's going quite slowly. I gave it a bit of a material just for the sake of interest. That's a skin color, but obviously I'd rather be painting the textures on and adding some subsurface scattering later. And I've changed the color in some of my lights. I put a strong backlight just to give it some atmosphere and changed it to a sort of bluey purple. Put an HDRI in the background to give it some natural reflections. It doesn't look too far away from skin color, but it does look very plasticky. And there's the final finished piece. There's still a bit of work to do, retopologize, add the more detail, and then start texturing. So I hope that information was helpful to people and that gave you some idea of the sculpting process that I go through. I'll be adding more time lapses like this in the future, so do subscribe. Thanks for watching.